malevolence.
Guards here are vigilant. Hide and hunt is a true warrior's game. It is good that you play it. Then play with us. This lot's easy, but you'd be hard to find. Go hide with the others. After the count, I'll seek you out like the mighty wolf Fenrir. Everyone hides while I count down. And after the count, I will seek you out. Everyone go hide, but stay in the village. Outside the village is out of bounds. Getting closer.
Come out, Giant. You won the game. I lie not. You won. I surrender, Giant. <laughs> the Giant is the champion. The hider in shadows. The one who lurks unseen. Farewell, children. Play well and stay warm. A warrior's game. In these times, even children must hide from two-legged wolves. Get ready for hide and hunt, everyone! Come on, we don't have... Specto hominum quale delectum. No. Say, let's go a few rounds. Let's do this then. Very well then, let us start. This will do. Interesting.
How about that? Stranger, another round. I have had enough of this. Aid me, be my eyes. What a handsome cat. Hello, friend of Freya. What's wrong? Come back, you snake! Here, little one. Gotcha, little mouse spider. anyone touch him since old Cutter died. But he sure loves you. Do you want to join my crew, Nolly? You would make a fine raider, I think. Every longship needs a brave cat for luck. And for the rats. Looks like I have another raider. Stretch your wings, Sunan.
I know you want death, but hear me in your soul! I do not think the horse can hear you. That horse can't hear anything. So how does he... Uh, how did Father do it then? The horse always comes when he summons it. Father was a good horse summoner, I'll have you know. And I'll rise in his stead. I, the great summoner Asta, call to you, my noble steed, skin Faxi. I know you are dead, but hear me in your soul. When Madam Sherwin Paula from Barnes Selva is me having. Girl. Ha! My summoning worked! Your horse is a little unsettled, but safe. I, Asta the Great Summoner, first of a name, thank ye! <laughs> Next time, summon a bridge. If Father was still alive, he would be proud of me. Wouldn't he, Skin Farley? Wait, what did I call you earlier? <laughs> Maybe the horse will have a better life now. Think you can swill with the best? Ah, a thirsty foe. Sink it faster than me. You are a winner. Let's see your silver. What's a drinking game without a prize? The hort it is. Man your horn.
Well, if it isn't Eivor of the Raven Clan. How do you know me? People talk. I've heard all the rumors that Eivor the Dane is a coward, a cur, and a leech. Perhaps you can swing that wee axe on your belt, but I doubt you've much talent for speech. You might be surprised. Let us duel. Well, I'll need a wager first. Here's the silver. Now begin. To all those whom I speak, they say Eivor's a clod. Then you're speaking to fools and their knowledge is flawed. Well, not bad. They say you're a coward who runs from a fight. And they are sorely mistaken, I'm known for my might. Interesting. Interesting. Silent whispers all claim that you're terribly dense. Then you have clearly misheard them, my wit is immense. Oh, you looked out with that one. Well, what a surprise. Eivor of the Raven Clan is a true talent. I'm shocked. Do not believe everything you hear. Unless it touches on my flighting, then heed every word. Take the coin, and know that only praise will henceforth cross my lips. What? What's happening? Finir? Oh. No, not unless Halfton sent you. Let's pretend Halfton did send me. Then we pretend you're Finir, his steward of East Anglia. Right. How do you expect to find a king for this kingdom when this is the speed you work at? <sighs> I found him already, and as soon as he's married, we'll plunk his ass down on that throne. Which man? Ugh. You know, stranger, you interrupted a beautiful dream. I was sailing through Helheim, drifting on a ship of fire. Dreams of death often run ahead of the real thing. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't that be a burden off my shoulders? What business have you with the backwater king, anyway? Danes from here attack my clan. I want to know why, and how to make sure it never happens again. Ah, that would be Ruid's clan. They killed the last man I put here, Adelstan. I suspect they'll do the same to our next monarch. A Dane who can't keep the Danes in line? Not much of a steward, are you? If I knew how, I'd have rid our lands of them long ago. Ruid's clan plagues us all, Dane and Saxon alike. You are the sorriest soldier I've met in this country. Kick your king in the ass and fight back. He needs more than a kicking. He's got nothing he should have to win this fight. No courage, no army, no charisma. If he wants to live longer than a season, he'll need the backing of his bride's family, which he hasn't. They loathe the maggot. Who is he, your king maggot? Ah, uh, Oswald of Elmenham, who was King Edmund's council before the invasions. And like it or not, he's the last Saxon noble with any sway. Why not crown a Dane instead? Half done, Jarl, made it clear. 
who once a Saxon king married to a Dane, for a greater show of unity. But Oswald's not the sort of man you'd chase into battle with a grin. He's soft, and the settled Danes don't trust him. Where is he now? I'll get the measure of him, see what I can do. <sighs> you just missed him. He's headed for Elmenham just now, pleading once again for peace. If you go by the north gates and along the road, you may catch him. Such exquisite fletchings. Fitting feathers for a king's name. are very lovely. Very lovely indeed. Touch not that throne! It was blessed by a priest, as were the arrows. How dare you touch those sacred arrows! You've desecrated a martyr's place! Hold, stranger! Show me those arrows! Why are you so passionate about these arrows? When Father James blessed the late King Edmund, he blessed that holy throne and all upon it. The blessing did not take. That depends on your opinion of King Edmund. I wonder... I have studied those arrows, but never dared touch them. But since you plucked them anyway, would you sell them to me? I'm willing to sell, but the King Edmund arrows might be mixed up with my own. I've the eye of an archivist, able to sort new from old. The kingdom's history shall be restored. Just sell them all to me. These arrows are the very same that pierced good Saint Edmund. I must study these holy relics. Thank you.
deinda lauka og mátti eigi róa til að bjarga lífið. Við erum viltum gaf því. Ég heik allan dag að sé þórslagur. Þeim, elli tekur segjum frá sín og biskur. What can I tempt you with? Always good to have. Take care of yourself out there. should always be fully stoned. Until next we meet. I will see you later, friend. Go. 
Sunan. Hate me, be my eyes. They rushed in like wolves, killing and burning as they went. It wasn't us. Your folk destroyed this country once before. Now you're doing it again. We live here, you blistering fool. We were attacked as well. You live here because you took our land. I built myself a home here. Ruid's clan attacked us as well. Oh, how nice to have a home to speak of, man. Mine was burnt to the ground years ago. And by home, I wonder. Please, all of you, be we Dane or Saxon, we all want the same peace. With land to till and home to keep. Without fear of Ruid's violence. Till they break the peace with another bleeding raid. Nonsense. Their homes are here now. Same as ours, our futures run together. Not a part. So what are these Danes attacking us, eh? What will you do about them? When I am king... <laughs> when I am your king, I'll set things right. You will be king when I am a flying troll. You handled that well. Disputes between Saxon and Dane don't always end so cleanly. That was a clean result. A dispute ending without bloodshed is as clean as they come. Quite a brutal outlook. I'm Eivor of the Raven Clan. Are you Oswald? I am. You're not here to kill me, are you? I'm not in the habit of killing kings. But I do like meeting them. I am Oswald, yes. For as long as I can hold out. So what happened here, Oswald? A clan, led by a Dane called Ruid, attacked this morning. They've been sacking farms and amulets across East Anglia for some time now, growing more brazen by the day. Do they know this is Halfton's land? They must. They just don't care. Their chaos has touched my home as well, and I'm here to see that it doesn't happen again. Lately, I've come to learn that you are the hook that all hopes hang upon. As king, you could unite all the Saxons and friendly Danes. A minor weight to bear, isn't it? Who else, if not a king, should bear it? Travel with me, Eivor. We can discuss my tenuous future on the road home. What begs your attention in Elmenham? Wedding preparations. Elmam is on guard as we ready my marriage to the Dane woman Valdis. She's a cousin of Hafton's. Good. A well-matched marriage can forge a strong alliance. So what's the holdup? 
Now hold up. I don't yet have permission to marry Valdis. Her brothers don't approve of me. Slow down. Something is not quite right here. Hold. There's smoke ahead. That's Beatley. It could be the same men who attacked at the walls of Norwich. Stay here. I'll have a look. This area is off limits. Feel stronger already. Their little lives. They mean nothing to me. They're flies on shit. for the goods. Oswald will be relieved to know of this. Druid's clan. They left none alive. God rest their souls. I'm needed at home to make yet another fruitless attempt to impress my betrothed family. Show more grit than you're showing me now, and they may start to like you. Yes, sorry, I'm just shaken. If you joined us at dinner, that might ease their minds a touch. Think about it. My doors are open to you.
My presence alone won't sway the family of your intended bride. That's work you must do yourself. Yes, yes, you're absolutely right. I'm merely hoping you might provide me with perspective. That I can do. Wonderful. Visit us in Elmham whenever you have time. It's worse here than I feared.